Hello everyone. Welcome to another game talk. <laughs> My name's Keith. What's so My name's Will. What's so funny about that, Will? You just sounded very angry, you know? Again? A little bit. Um, you sound a little short. You want? You guys want to come behind the curtain with us? Yeah. We Keith's already... mad at me off camera. That's no. what's going on. I'm not. I'm not mad. It's my fault. But we uh, we already recorded this intro once. Yeah. But the air conditioner was on. So we're on a roll today. We were gonna film an episode about Super Mario Galaxy 2 and why it's so amazing. And I was gonna play the last episode for Keith, or not the last episode, the last level for Keith, and just show him how great that game is. But I have Smash Wii U in my Wii, not Galaxy 2. So we're gonna <laughs> we're, we're reaching into the the back burn, the back uh -huh. catalog. Something our, more exciting. Yeah, our backlog of Game Talk <laughs> topics, which is the Xbox All Access Program, Keith. Mm -hmm. uh, for all you folks out there living uh, paycheck to paycheck, we're no stranger to that. Um, <laughs> there, it is now cheaper than ever to be a current gen gamer, thanks to Xbox, taking a page out of Verizon and the cell phone companies where you can buy a super expensive phone, pay monthly, and uh, get kind of you know screwed over with interest and whatnot. Yeah. But I feel like this is actually, they, they really taught this as a if you're buying a thousand dollar iPhone X, you're no stranger to being screwed, sir. Yeah, true that. It is. It is screwed from from beginning to end. I have an iPhone, but I, I just know, I know that whenever I walk into Verizon, I just gotta present myself, let them have their way, and I get to leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I don't know what APR is, Keith. I'm not that much uh, that much of a financial guy. Okay. But we're gonna. There's some APR info in here. We're, we're gonna, I'm just gonna run you through the prices because there are tiers to this program. Okay. You can get an Xbox One S with Xbox All Access at $21.99 per month with 0% APR for 24 months. Whatever that means. Annual percentage trade, I guess? Annual, annual Oh, so like no... No interest, I guess, maybe. I okay. Know. I don't know what it talks about. A savings of over $130. We'll I, I'm so, mad that I don't know the acronym. So tell me, what, tell me what's about. So they're touting this as a savings of... If you were to buy all this separately outside of the Xbox All Access program, uh, it is $100, $130 more expensive to do it all separately than to do it with this program. So, okay, cool. So you can get a 1X, a 1S for $21.99 a month. Um, it comes with Xbox Live Gold. It comes with Xbox Game Pass, which that gives you access to all the Xbox exclusives. Granted, not a few, not very many. Mm -hmm. um, but you get access to all those. You get access to a bunch of, I mean, they have Fallout 4 on there now. I'm pretty sure they have Rise of the Tomb Raider on there. Mm -hmm. A lot of really good multi-platform games you can get for free included in this $21 a month yep. thing. That is a sweet deal. That is a really good deal. If I didn't have an Xbox One already, I would be considering this. And at the end of the day, after however many years it would take you to pay it off, like you've act you've paid enough to own the system, yeah, or whatever, like your your dollar is more valuable today than it is next year. Yeah, if, with inflation, like it it makes sense if you don't want to make the investment right now and own it. It really does make sense if you just want to pay 20, 20 bucks a month or whatever. Yeah. To have this. I, I'm con I, don't, I don't know exactly the specifics on how this works out. Once you've paid it off, do you just get to keep the Xbox probably? Uh, so it works with a phone, right? I find that to be down. I don't know if this is that kind of a payment plan. I don't know if you're buying the Xbox. This is just a, a service. Like I a think. rental. Basically. Yeah, I think if I think if you stop paying it, you they'll they'll want that Xbox back. But like, does Phil Spencer come knock on your door? Like, how does that work? Um, you know? I don't know. They might send you a letter. They could certainly like keep you from ever having your Xbox account anymore. Like you could yeah, never. Yeah, they could hold a hostage from you. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Maybe it is. Maybe it is a, a pay to own plan. Maybe you really are buying this yeah. thing. Um, I'm on their website. I don't really see anything about that. So I guess we can just assume it's not a, um, like paying to own it eventually. Um, but there's a the separate tier. This is the one that I'm actually kind of interested in, Keith. Um, if I didn't have an Xbox One, this is probably the one I would get. Okay. Just because the Xbox One X interests me a lot. Just sure. the fact that it can... The, the, we, we said this in the um, cut version of this. We talked a little bit before we had to reset this video, but they're definitely in third place right now. Yeah, as it stands. It's, there's no doubt about and, it. Um, Switch, is, Switch is catching up so yeah. fast that give them another year or whatever. They're, they're going to eclipse yeah. that. Um, but the, the Xbox One X is very interesting to me because it's their way of, along with Xbox Game Pass, it's their way of saying... Hey, you can you can't play Spider Man on this. You can't play The Last of Us Two on this. But any game other than those that you can play on your PS4, come play it on the Xbox One X, and it's going to look a lot better. Yeah, it's be true 4K as they call it. Right. Um, I don't have a 4K TV yet. We'll soon, hopefully. I I, um, I picture those still as kind of this humble offering. Like we we understand we don't have God of War. Yeah. We understand we don't have Spider Man. But we got Red Dead Redemption One upscale to HD. But got but please. <laughs> If you don't want to play, if you are out there somewhere that you don't want to play these games, join us. 
But you want to play Far Cry 5 and have it look really good. Yeah. <laughs> you play it on the Xbox One X. <laughs> I've been, um, I played God of War and I play, I'm playing Spider-Man right now and it just seems so laughable to me that you wouldn't have a PlayStation at this moment. Yeah. Spider-Man, yeah. Spider-Man is enough for like... The, Spider-Man is so good, in my opinion, that it is truly... To think about even purchasing an Xbox makes me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not right. Yeah. Because Xbox right. is doing fine. That's not yeah. right. But it's just that... You gotta have it. You gotta play Spider. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> I'm so late in the game now, though. That would feel a little foolish buying a PS4 when I, when a friend's show Kevin McAfee will just probably let me borrow his play yeah. Spider-Man at some point. Absolutely. Because we're so close to PS5 now that. All I'm saying is, do if you gotta hurt somebody, get out there and play Spider-Man 4. Spider-Man <sighs> PS4. If you gotta do, if if you gotta go under the table and get dirty. <laughs> You need to do it. And that's not what this video is about. We're talking about Xbox. And Xbox yeah. is doing a nice thing. Yeah. They are doing a nice thing, but in that, you slip into the idea that I'm going to sneak into your house some night in the next few weeks and steal that well, PS4. It's a dangerous game to sneak into my house. Because yeah. when people sneak into my house, I live in the woods. Mm -hmm. I don't usually have to evaluate if they're sneaking in, whether they're there to do something good or bad. Yeah. Like if someone makes it all the way to my house and comes inside, they're asking for a bullet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's a bad thing. It's like, so, no, Keith, I'm just here to steal your PS4. <laughs> I'm just hands, here up, hands up, don't shoot. I'm just here to steal. I'm just here to play Spider-Man. I'm just yeah. here to take a PS4 and play Spider-Man. Yeah. Even worse. <laughs> um, we, let's so, not yeah, talk about Spider-Man anymore. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we, um, this is, we're just showing how little we care about Xbox right now. Yeah. We're trying to work up the, the enthusiasm for this. But like, I really don't want to undersell how yeah, agreed. important it is that broke people, super broke people, like living below the poverty line now, can feasibly play Far Cry 5. Yeah, I mean they can't play God of War, but that's still really cool that they can play a 2018 brand new game. Absolutely, for so cheap and that, that is that is super cool, and I just it's it's an it is a it is a third place tactic. Yeah, it is like we want to so we want to move consoles, mm -hmm. and if we have to let you pay over the course of three years to do it, that's okay. And you just get but the Xbox in the house. It's true. Like even thinking about, I want to buy a Nintendo Switch. But that's three hundred dollars or whatever that I can't use on any of the more the important things that I also have to do with my life. Mm -hmm. I'm not wealthy by any stretch of the imagination. I got bills to pay, and right now with Lizzie in law school, there's not a lot. There's not a lot of Nintendo Switches just waiting in my yeah. bank account to be to be bought. Yeah. So the idea that that if I had nothing for twenty one dollars a month, I could I could be on par with everybody else at this gym. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's a big deal. It's really cool. It's kind of respectful on their part. Yeah. Far Cry 5 in 4K is perfectly worth $20 a month. Like, being able yeah. to play all those games. Mm -hmm. The new Tomb Raider game, I think, is on Game Pass, is it not? Probably not. It, no. But the older Tomb Raider. The, the Rise of the Tomb Raider. The one that was Xbox One, an Xbox One timed console exclusive. That <laughs> one, that one's on the Game Pass now. But uh, that yeah. is a good game, Keith. I can't yeah. undersell it. You have Game Pass, don't you? I do. I should play it. Yeah, you should play it. You should absolutely play it. Yeah, Put it's, on the channel. we really yeah. No, I really didn't intend to undersell how helpful this could be. Yeah. And I mean, it's good business. It's good mm -hmm. business. You think it's goodwill too. It is good. It is goodwill and it's good business because they're out. They're in the CEO. They're in the big. They're in the big meetings. They're like, we need to move Xboxes because we're getting hammered by PlayStation yeah. and Switch, and we need people to buy our Xboxes. And I don't care how you do it. I just yeah. need to move them. I you just need, need a little bit of money. I need to people. I need people to get on board. And someone had a really good idea. And that's. I mean, that's. The whole thing is twenty dollars a month from a bunch of people now is way better than no money from yeah. people. Never. In, until the Xbox Two or yeah. whatever it is they make. Yeah. Project Scarlet. And I have a lot of ideas on how the Xbox Two could. They could win the next uh, the next generation. I have a lot of ideas. Yeah, we'll have to do a game talk about that next time. I mean, but, we've I've heard I've heard the. The, the, the breezes of, of Sony's arrogance a little yeah. bit. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you think about like you've got people touting Spider Man, God of War, all these exclusives. No one else can pull it off like they can, it seems mm -hmm. like. These big budget, dramatic, like suck you in exclusives. Yeah. And I think I think they are getting a little big for their riches. Yeah. And I'm worried for them. I think Xbox is going to be waiting in the doorway, staring yeah. at them. Like, y'all having a nice little party in here. It's yeah. a shame if somebody came in here with an awesome. <laughs> Third person single player yeah, game. Exactly. Wreck y'all's world. It'd be a real shame. <laughs> They're just setting them up. They're setting them up for the layup. Yeah. Xbox just has to come in with something. It, just on par. Just on yeah, par. Just something of the same just something of the does yeah, the same level. There's no God of War on Xbox. There's nothing. There's no thir there's no third person third person single player action game where you don't shoot something. Yeah. Yeah. I was on about to say Xbox. Gears of War, but then you don't you shoot something. But it's always it's always shooting, there's always 
you can play the single player, but you can get way more hours out of the multiplayer or whatever. Yeah. But like, that's God a lot of machismo. Yeah. There's a lot of like flexing. I feel yeah. on the Xbox exclusive front. God of War that has no multiplayer. Mm-hmm. If you're not playing single player, you're not playing. Yeah. And there's no games like that on Xbox. That's true. That are, that, that are on the same same level. Yeah. They had Sunset Overdrive. That was cute. Cute, <laughs> but yeah. you know, no God of War. So take it from us, people who've never owned a business or ever made a game, what you should do, Xbox. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what you should make. <laughs> yeah. For real though, I would like to do a game talk at some point about what the Xbox Two could do to uh, turn the situation around. Absolutely. But yeah, shout outs to Xbox um, for this amazing program. This is mm-hmm. really cool. Um, that's all, all I really got to say. Yeah, that's really all cool. I got to say. Thank you yeah. for it, Xbox. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. You need to, well, there's things you need to do as a viewer. If you like this conversation, you need to hit the like button on the video. A lot of people don't do that. I don't do that when I watch videos, but I want you to be better than me. Hit the like button. I also want you to subscribe to this channel if you want more game talks. Will is really attractive. You want to watch him a lot. He comes on the channel almost weekly. I, on the other hand, am on here daily, and I'm not exactly a looker myself, but most of the time you're looking at games and not my face. If you like Dungeons and Dragons, but his face is always there. If you want. It is always there. If you like Dungeons and Dragons, we have a Dungeons and Dragons show called Dungeon Boys available on iTunes. Subscribe to the channel and enjoy. Very good. Check that one out. Yes, yeah. we're working on audio stuff. I got. I'm not an audio technician, so I'm learning. Uh, finally, follow us at Tank Media Games on Twitter. If you really like what we do, and if you want to help us get enough money to buy a Tank Media Xbox uh, monthly deal, uh, go to patreoncom slash Tank Media Network. So uh, you can trip us at all. Um, I haven't plugged my Twitter yet, but uh, yeah. if you guys want to follow your boy on Twitter, um, I'm at Will Tank. So uh, check me out. At Will that's, Tank. That's Mill Tank the Pokemon, but with a W. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that would really squeeze Will's others. In the meantime, <laughs> please do all those things and remember that we love you very much. This is a long one. I'm just settle in. It's gonna be a okay. You know how I got that 4K TV a few weeks ago, and we talked about Xbox All Access. I don't have an Xbox One X. I wanted to see what the TV was like, so I got the All Access thingy, and uh, I didn't make my payment last month. And there's been a black unmarked car with uh, tinted windows following me for a few days, and um, two theories. It's either the Men in Black, because let's be honest, I watch a lot of Mandela Effect stuff on YouTube. Uh, two, it might be Phil Spencer head of Xbox. Well, just just calm down. Uh, it's prob- probably nothing. What, what have you been playing? The world ends with you. Well, uh, sit down. We'll have we'll have a game talk. It'll be fine. Just just come and sit down. Yeah, we'll just come come sit down. We'll have a game talk. Just calm down, dude. It's not a big deal. You you want a soda pop? I do. Okay. Well, I'll get you one in a second. Let's prep for this game talk okay. first. I think you might have been right. I might have been overreacting. Getting in the game talk space, it centered me a little on my thing.